So let's bring ourselves down onto the floor, allowing our just come to a lion position and let's start by allowing the body to be really released. So we'll allow the legs to extend away and just take a moment to let the hips gently rock. So we'll let the pelvis just gently rock from side to side and allow it to create a little ripple effect through the legs and probably through the torso as well. Everything will have a good old ripple effect. Um, allowing yourself to really start to release into that so everything just relaxes and releases away. And then we'll allow ourselves to find that stillness and we'll breathe out and just let the rib cage expand and release. So we're going to bring the feet onto the floor and we're going to find that place where the feet are just hip distance apart, the knees are just hip distance apart. And we'll allow the pelvis to be resting down into the floor. We'll take a moment to just switch into that pelvis. So let's um, take a moment to switch from side to side with the hip bones. Um, take a little gentle tip in the pelvis. And um, we're not going to allow that to have a huge impact on the knees, but just allow yourself to notice what happens when you tip the pelvis from side to side and whether there's anything in the lower back or around the pelvis area that you think oh there it is so just taking a moment and then we'll find that place where it feels as though those two hip bones are nice and level with one another and then we can let the lower back just press into the floor and we can exaggerate the curve in the lower back and we'll find that place where it feels as though hip bone and pubic bone are level with one another and we'll let the rib cage release down into the floor. We'll let the arms rest down by our sides from there. And then just roll the head from side to side. And as we bring the head into the centre, we'll tuck the chin in slightly. Let's find that core connection. So we draw in through the pelvic floor. Take a nice deep breath for me there. And as you breathe out, we'll lift the arms up towards the sky. So the shoulder lifts and then we drop the shoulder back down and again the shoulder lifts and drops back down. Two more like that. And one more. So with those shoulders sinking down into the ground and the pelvis in neutral we're going to take a nice connection through those core muscles and we'll allow the right arm to go high and the left arm to go low. So see if we can keep the ribcage nice and still, keep the shoulders sinking down into the ground, and then we'll draw the arms back up and change over to the other side. And we change over. Keeping that going. Now, if you feel you want to, as the leg, um, as the arm extends over the head, its opposite leg extends away. So we usually do this pattern. So as the left arm extends over the head, the right leg stretches away. And we keep that going. Now, just for good measure, we're going to add in our little arm circles here. So as we get to the top, We'll take a little arm circle and then we'll change to the other arm and leg so the other opposite arm and leg is extending away. So we're just taking a moment to really switch in to that connection and just being aware that you need to remember which one you just started with because I think adding the arm circle in confuses things a little bit but we'll see. See if we like. So if you feel ready to, we'll add our little knee opener here as well. So the leg extends away. We draw that arm and leg back in. Same knee opens out to the side. Draw the arm in, take a little arm circle. And we're looking to stabilise through the rib cage there. Lengthening away. 
and drawing in the opens out to the side. And then, of course, if you feel you want to, you can do all of this with the legs lifted. Now we're going to imprint the spine if we start to lift the legs. So let's say we start on the right leg, we extend away. Drawing in, knee opens out to the side. And you can take a little circle with the, with the arms. And then we extend away. Letting that knee open out to the side. And take a little circle of the arms. And then again, opposite arm to leg extends away. Draw the knee open out to the side. So this time, if you want to, as the arms circle, you can allow both the legs to stretch a little away from you. Notice that the back may get to a point where it wants to pull away from the floor, and I want you to keep the back really well grounded. And the belly button squeezing in. One more on each side. And then bringing their knees in and giving them a good hug. And we'll just gently rock from side to side when we're there. And maybe taking a little circle with the knees. So we can allow the left foot to rest down onto the floor, let the right leg rest down onto the floor. And from there, we'll squeeze in through the tummy, finding that neutral spine position, and we'll allow the right knee to lift, to hover above the hip socket, bringing the calf to that 90 degree angle. Take a deep breath in, rib cage is really soft, and breathe out, stretch the leg away from us. Breathe in as the leg returns, and then dipping that right toe down. Breathe in as the leg returns, and then taking a little circle through the thigh bone. Let's do that again. Dipping the toe down, and stretching the leg away. And then the thigh gently circles within the hip socket. And again, we stretch out the way. Breathe in, dip the toe down. And gently circle. Last time, stretch the leg away. Breathe in, let the leg return, dip the toe down. And then allow that leg to circle. Now, hold it for me here. Once again, I want you to press the lower back all the way down into the floor, squeezing in through the tummy, second leg lifts. And we'll take a nice deep breath here, letting those shoulders melt down into the ground. Rib cage is nice and soft. And let's see where that 100 position is. So we can allow the knees to tip a little bit further away from us, finding that challenge place where the back starts to want to pull away from the floor. We'll keep breathing nice and gently there. Just taking one more breath, and we'll allow that right foot to float down. Keeping the knee hovering there. Return back to that neutral spine position, and again, we'll stretch the leg away from us. Breathe in as the leg returns, and then dip in the toe down, and then we'll take our knee circle. And again, stretching the leg away. Dip the toe gently down, and then gently circling the leg. So through all of this, we're looking to maintain our neutral spine position, keeping the hips really nice and stable and still. Just one more there. And again, 
again, we've got that knee lifted, but push the lower back into the floor and allow the second leg to lift. Now, with that squeeze in through the tummy, we'll allow those knees to just come a little bit further away from us, seeing where that place is. Shoulders melt down into the ground. Take a nice deep breath. Right leg stretches away from us. Keep breathing as the leg returns. Left leg stretches away from us. Breathing as we return. Right toe dips down towards the floor. Knee lifts. Left leg dips down. And then like a frog, we'll take a little circle. And again, stretch away. So again, if you find that this is too much, you can always work with one leg lifted if you wanted to. I'm sure this will be marvelous. So we'll allow the knees to gently open. If you do feel any strain in the lower back though, we want to work with one leg lifted instead of two here. The lower we take the leg, the more the challenge it is for us to keep that back pressing into the ground, to keep the belly button gently squeezing. Next one. And bring the knees in, give them a good hug. So from there, we'll just take a little curl up um, with the head and we'll take a little forwards and backwards rocking action. And we can bring this into the, um, as big as you want it to be to start off with, allowing yourself to really get that sense of opening up through the spine. And then we will bring ourselves up to sitting and we'll take our rolling like a ball. So the hands can come onto the shins and we'll allow ourselves to be gently tucked in through the lower back. Shoulders are going to stay descending down. Chin is sort of tucked in slightly so the head and neck stay away from the floor. So we'll just hover, squeezing in through the tummy, rocking gently back and coming up to sit. And let's do that a few times. Now, let's add on from here. So let's allow, when we get there, we allow one leg to stretch out and away. And then drawing the leg back in, we'll rock back and come up, extend the leg away and come back in, rock on back. Right leg extends away and we rock back. Left leg extends away. We rock back. Let's get back to length. Both legs lengthen. Now, can we take the legs a little bit apart and hold on to the ankles? And we're going to lift really nice and tall there. One more breath and draw them in, rolling back. And again, we lift up. And draw on in, curving through the back, rock. Now, just a thought, we rock back and then we come back up to sit. We'll just take two more like that, see how that feels. Head and neck stay off the mat. Last one. Oh, so she. And <laughs> releasing really there. So that was how not to do it. Don't plunk down at the end. So we'll take our capital C exercise from there. Lengthening really nice and tall. Shoulders gliding down the back. Nice deep breath. Tilt through the tailbone, curving into the lower back. And then we'll lengthen up nice and tall. And again, curling back. Let's allow the arms to lengthen out in front of us. And then as we come up to sitting, we'll allow the arms to reach up for the scalp. We gently curl back down. 
And then we're lengthening up through the nose and chin. And let's see if that final one can take us all the way to the floor, and that's where we'll stay. 